Hello, nice to be with you this morning, Tuesday. Yesterday I mentioned one verse that has been of particular help and inspiration to me in my life, and that was from Proverbs chapter 3 and verses 5 and 6. Another verse that has helped me is one from the book of Revelation, the very first chapter. As you know, Revelation was written by John the disciple. He was on the island of Patmos. He was there because of his faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. If ever there was a lockdown situation for anyone, it was John. He was cut off from everybody that he loved with no prospect at all for any major or significant changes in his life. And on a particular day, he has a vision. He calls it the Lord's Day. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's Day. And in this vision, he sees Jesus. And John says, quite frankly, I was terrified. And I fell down on the ground. And in the vision, Jesus comes to him and places his hand on John's shoulder and says, John, do not be afraid, for I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, and I hold the keys of death and Hades. Now, in these uncertain times, when so many things seem um, lacking in any substance, we've got to have something to hold on amidst all the upheavals. We don't know what lies ahead of us even tomorrow, let alone uh, next year. And we need to hear something solid. Do not be afraid, for I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, and I hold the keys of death and Hades. So for the anxiety of these days, hear that word of Jesus. Do not be afraid. I was there at the beginning. I will be there at the end. I am the first and the last and I am everything in between. I am the living one. I was dead. Behold, I am alive forevermore and I hold the keys. I love to think of Jesus as the one who is able finally to unlock the future for us. So you place your hope and trust in him. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 17. May God be with you today.